what you need. You're right. My nerves are in shreds. Absolute shreds. Give me, give me, give me. Steady on. Steady on. Steady on. It wasn't you that got blown to smithereens by that infernal girl. Look at that hand. Oh, I needed that. Right, horrible Hollyanna. Look to your laurels, young lady. I've let you get this far, but no further. Pay attention. What? You're not here to do nothing. Pay attention. I am. Right. Let's see what's going on now. Ah, the next program's begun. And that, no doubt, is where the vile child is headed. So, what do I have to do now? Uh, um, get there before she does. Yes, and? And, uh... Um, and try to find the crystal before she does. Yes, and? Yes, and, um... Uh... Oh, for pity's sake! Got it! And I'm going to come and help you. You must be joking! You're going to stop messing about, sit here, keep your eyes on that screen, and let me know the minute you see that infernal child. Get it? Got it. Good. Right. I'm off. Oh, and T-shirt. What? Don't take your eyes off that screen. Don't take your eyes off that screen. Real weird place, this. No sign of the girl, though. No sign of anybody. Hello. Who's this? F. Bloggs. F. Bloggs. So there is somebody here after all. Well, Mr. F. Bloggs, perhaps you can help me find what I'm after. Where are you? Giddy aunt. Where did you pop up from? I was just you coming. You gave me from quite that. a start there. All right now. Oh, look, hold this. You stayed to tea, of course. Out of a tin, I'm afraid, but uh, we'll do what we can with it. Oh, how are you with one of these contraptions? Well, I've never. Tell you what, really... you have a bash with that, and I'll get cracking on the fire. You haven't told me your name yet. Mine's Daisy Digwell. Stroke of genius on my mother's part. She must have felt it in her bones that I'd grow up with green fingers. Mm. I'm a botanist, you understand. Know everything there is to know about plants. You haven't told me what you're doing here yet. Well, I was just... The reason I'm here is, and you won't believe this, but it's true, I'm told that way up here in these mountains, there grows the rarest, most exquisite flower in the whole wide world. Floribundis orchidestra glorioda. Have you ever heard of it? Well, no. I must admit I hadn't myself. And an old gardening chum of mine, Rosie Crabapple, you know her. Oh, you must know Rosie Crabapple. Everybody knows Rosie Crabapple and her prize-winning spring onions. Anyway, she said to Look, me... I'm sorry, Daisy, I don't... she said, you have never smelled a smell until you've smelled an orchid like this. It is amazing. Yes, I'm sure, but, but I was... Just... you see, my dear, there's so few of them left. Somebody has to see to it that they don't die out altogether. So... <clears throat> oh, sorry. Have I been talking too much? Well... Oh, I just can't seem to help myself. I get so wrapped up in my own little world that before you know what's what, I'm rabbiting on 20 to the dozen. <laughs> Rosie Crabapple's cousin Jimmy once said to me, Daisy, he said, <coughs> you really, oops, I'm off again. Mum's the word. Your turn. I'm Holly. Stop! Oh, blimey. Who are you? <coughs> I mean, welcome, welcome, oh weary traveller, you have come far. Please feel free to take solace in the peace and tranquility of this sacred place. Never mind that. I'm glad I found you. I have a few questions I want answered. Blimey, it's the law. You must be F. Bloggs. It is the law. <coughs> How do you know? Well, it says so here in this cap. Oh, oh, the cap. The name on the cap. No, 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 no. That's the, um, that's the, um, the initials. Um, I can tell you what that stands for. Uh, F-B-L-O-G-G-S. Well, um, uh, that's me. Uh, uh, father Bountiful, uh, loyal overlord of the, um, G, G, uh, uh, glorious garden of secrets. Father Bountiful, pah! I'm not interested in that rubbish. Have you seen a young girl about this high and dressed in vile pink? What are you? Leave, Wolf. <laughs> no, no one ever comes here. 
No one dares. What do you mean? Why not? The beast. The creature. What creature? The terrible, hideous, horrible creature. What drivel is this? What creature? The abdominal. The immobile. The Oh, the... spit it out, man. The yeti. Yeti? Yeti. Oh. Don't make me laugh. It's true, I tell you. I've seen it myself. Huge and hairy. Teeth like razor blades. Great, long, pointed claws as sharp as needles. And eyes the size of saucers. Wild. And crazy eyes. I have never heard such a load of old codswallop in my entire life. What's your game, eh? What are you hiding there? Nothing. It wouldn't be a crystal by any chance. No, 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 no. Show me. Where's the crystal? What crystal? I don't know. If I think for one minute that you're lying to me, there'll be trouble. Clear? That's crystal clear. I mean, perfectly clear. I don't want this. I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, you can't. <sighs> it's a bit too close for comfort, that. Still, at least I've still got you, my pretty precious. So you see, it's really important to find all these crystals, put them on the chamber, and that'll be the end of tea bag. Yes, I see. Well, I'm sorry to say I've been scouting about these hills for weeks and I've not seen hide nor hair of anything like that. I was thinking, perhaps it could be up there. What, up in the old monastery? Oh, no, I shouldn't think so. It just might be. I think I'll set off and have a look. Hold your horses. You can't go traipsing off up there at this hour. It'll be dark soon. But I must find... Now, no arguments, please. If you set your heart on going up there, then I'm coming with you. But in the morning. Now, how's that? All right. Come on, then. Off we go. Early to bed, early to rise. Busy day tomorrow. Your turn. After you. Boom! Ah! Stupid boy. What are you playing at? You scared the living daylights out of me. I told you not to take your eyes off that screen. I was bored. Nothing was happening. Out of my way. Let me see. See? I told you. What's this? It's my monster book. Give it back. Monsters? There's no such things as monsters. The only monster I know is you. But it says in there... I don't care what it says. I'm not having your head filled with this garbage. I'm going to bed. Me too. Oh, no, you're not. You're going to stay here and watch that screen until something happens. What? All night? If necessary, yes. And no comics. And no books. And no messing about. Those rich toffs will pay a packet for a perfume like this. Now, the rarest bottle I've sent in the old blooming world. I've worked with socks off clicking those blasted flowers, but it's been worth every blister. What's the matter? Can't you sleep? Oh, sorry, did I wake you? No, I couldn't drop off either. It's a beautiful night. Quiet. I know. It's always like this at night in the mountains. Don't you ever get lonely up here on your own? I would. Oh, you're never on your own up here. What do you mean? Listen. You're the lady. I'm so tired. Come on, my dear. Let's get you tucked up. Now I found you, Hollyanna Jones. Your Majesty... I'll show her who's stupid. Something out there. There can't be. I'm going to be <gasps> No! I'm telling you, it was there! Another second and he would have eaten me! Oh, will you let go of my arm? He was going grass! Oh, stuff 
and nonsense. You've been dreaming, that's all. I told you that silly book would give you nightmares. But look! Don't tell me. It was there, but now it's gone. You drag me out of bed in the middle of the night for nothing. It's spite, isn't it? But I'm telling you it was there. Oh, be quiet. I'm going back to bed and I'll see you in the morning. Unfortunately. I'm frightened. Are you? Yes. Are you? Me? Yes. What are we going to do? Well, do you know what I always do when I get a little bit nervous? What? I sing a little song. If you ever feel fearful, whistle a cheerful tune. If you don't feel merry, whistle and very soon. You won't feel scared, you won't feel blue. The only thing you've got to do is pucker your lips and whistle a cheerful tune. Would you like to try? If you ever feel fearful, whistle a cheerful tune. If you don't feel merry, whistle and very soon. You won't feel scared, you won't feel blue. The only thing you've got to do is pucker your lips and whistle a cheerful tune. If, if you, you ever, ever feel frightened, your whistle, whistle can lighten your, your day. So you see, we'll whistle and whistle and feel OK. We, we won't, won't feel scared, we won't feel blue. The only thing we've got to do is pucker our lips and whistle a cheerful tune. Is pucker our lips and whistle a cheerful tune. Better? No. Neither am I. <laughs> Coast clear. I thought morning would never come. I know. What a dreadful experience that was. What do you think it could have been? Oh, no doubt about it, my dear. Yeti. Abominable snowman. Which means only one thing. What's that? I'm off. Oh, wait till Rosie Crabapple hears about this. A brush with the Yeti. I'll be the talk of the Women's Institute Thursday night whist drive. Oh, pass me that pan, will you? Thank you. They'll all be green with envy. But, Daisy, you promised to come with me up to the monastery. That was before last night's malarkey, wasn't it? But you said... Wild horses wouldn't keep me here. But wild orchids would. Come on, Daisy. What would Rosie Crabapple say if she knew you'd run off home empty-handed? Hmm. You never know. You might find one of those flowers you're looking for up there. That's a thought. What do you say? I say... Let's get cracking. And a very good morning to you, Miss Hollyanna Jones. Caught up with you at last. I always had an inkling the crystal would be in that ridiculous monastery. Come on, T-shirt, we're off. Get your skates on. T-shirt! Don't leave me! Oh. Come on, we're off. Where to? I told you, the monastery. I don't want to go there. The yes, you'll get me. Oh, for pity's sake. I'm not going, I'm not going. Come on, pull yourself together, boy. I want to go home. Please let me go back, Your Majesty. Please. I don't want to get eaten up by the Yeti. Yeti, Yeti, Yeti. Will you shut up about the Yeti? There is no Yeti. I don't want to hear another word about the Yeti. But the Yeti... Ah! The Yeti will come and tear me apart and chew me up into little pieces. T-shirt, listen very carefully. If I hear the word Yeti mentioned one more time, it will be me tearing you apart and chewing you up into little pieces. There is no Yeti. But I saw it! You didn't see it! You couldn't have seen it! Why not? Because there is no such thing! Oh, this is ludicrous. T-shirt, say after me. There is no Yeti. There is no Yeti. Again? There is no Yeti. Again? There is no Yeti. There is no Yeti. What is there, no? No Yeti. Good, right. You wait here. I'm, I'm off for a quick scout around. Don't leave me! There is no Yeti. There is no Yeti. There is no Yeti. Oh! oh! A thousand pardons. I didn't mean to startle you. Phew! I thought you were the Yeti. <laughs> but then, as everybody knows, there is no Yeti. Who told you this lie? Lie? Well, of course there's a Yeti. I've seen it myself. It's huge and hairy, wild and crazy, ferocious, deadly. I wouldn't hang about here if I was you. Flee. Flee while you still have the chance. Don't let the Yeti get you! Right, that's it. I'm off. T-shirt! Oh, where are you? The Yeti, the Yeti, the Yeti! I give up. I do, I give up. Hello? Quick, they're here. 
Now, I don't want to hear a peep out of you. Just do as I do. Hello? Don't stand there gawping. Hood up and shut up. I say, rather impressive. If the crystal isn't here, I'm in real trouble. Let's crack on, then. Greetings. <gasps> oh, jeepers, creepers. A thousand welcomes, intrepid travellers. You just about scared the living daylights out of me. A thousand pardons, you are welcome here. But first, I beseech you, pray observe the rules of the monastery. What are they? You must relieve yourselves of all worldly possessions. Oh, that's fair enough. What have I got? Handbag. Ooh, binoculars. And uh, my wristwatch. You'd better have that. Thank you. Thank you. You may stay. And now you. I don't have any possessions. Oh, what's in the bag? It isn't money or anything like that. Well, what is it then? Crystals. But I can't let you have them. They'll be perfectly safe with me, I assure you. Now hand them over. If you promise to look after them. Don't worry, I will. All right. <gasps> Floribundus Orchidestra Gloriode has smashed to a pulp. Oh, who did this wicked thing? I smell something suspicious going on around here. What's all this here? So that's it. No wonder these flowers are almost extinct. Crystal! You've been going around picking them left, right and centre and grinding them up to make perfume. Well, that's the very limit, I must say, of all the careless, thoughtless, selfish, reckless things. Shut up! Teabag! Yes, it's me, and you know what I'm after, don't you, horrible Hollyanna Jones? Your Majesty! The Yeti! The Yeti! Isha, don't be ridiculous. Now hand over that infernal crystal or else. It's coming to get us, Your Majesty. The Yeti, the Yeti. Oh, T-shirt, I've had about as much as I can take. How many times do I have to tell you there is no such thing as... The Yeti. Oh, T-shirt, help. Oh, we're done for. It's coming to get us now. Oh. Joke. I saved your bacon there, Your Majesty, didn't I, eh? If it hadn't have been for me, you'd have been all gobbled up by now. I don't want to say I told you so, but I told you so. No such thing as a yeti, you said. Oh, button your lip. At least we've heard the last of that hateful girl. There's no way in the world she could have escaped the clutches of that monstrous beast. <laughs> this I have to see. So, you dressed in that ridiculous costume, hoping to scare folk away and stop them stumbling across your horrid little racket. Well, here's what I think of this. No! Don't do that! Oh, that's ten years I'd graft up a spout. Never touch one of those beautiful flowers again. Oh, don't you worry, I won't. Ah, oh, there must be an easier way of earning a crust than this. I'm off. Blasted place. <laughs> What a very rude man. Well, Daisy, thanks for helping me. We've helped one another, haven't we? I suppose so. Anyway, time I was off too. Are you coming? No, I'm staying here. Someone's got to keep an eye on our little floral friends. Hmm? Goodbye, then. Goodbye. I'd love to see Teabag's face if she ever found out there was no such thing as a yeti. <laughs> <laughs> And tomorrow on Children's ITV, don't miss the start of a brand new series of CAB. It's a new adventure for Colin and Franny, that's CAB, tomorrow at I thought that Daisy was a lovely person, wasn't she? Helping she was. Holly like that. Very good. Very Can you nice. hear this? Teabug's a nasty old witch. She makes.